basketball player's favorite thing, dribbles that go at their feet going nowhere. I had a camp one time years ago and a pro player was a counselor and some little kid got the ball and was standing there dribbling and the pro player said, don't stand there like you're peeing, go someplace with the ball. And so I started naming these dribbles where you're just standing there doing nothing, pee dribbles. And I would urge you to eliminate all pee dribbles from your game. I know what a lot of you are thinking. Oh yeah, there's a lot of times when I need to keep my dribble or I'm getting off balance or I need to use up time. You can give all the excuses you want, but great players learn to play without pee dribbling. They learn to be very economical. They decide to go somewhere and they go there quickly. And yeah, once you're a great player, there may be times when the coach says, just stand there and dribble out the time, and that may be a wonderful thing to do. But I'm gonna tell you that until you start making an effort to eliminate pee dribbles, actually you're bogging down your own game. You ought to start thinking about how many X dribbles you take per game, not how many P dribbles. X dribbles are explosive dribbles. Dribbles where you get the ball and your first dribble goes down here and you really go someplace. It would be nice if you could get your parents who love to come and watch you play or a friend to just count how many times during a game you drop the ball at your feet and how many times your first dribble is with an explosive move that causes you to groan or grunt when you move. Like you have the ball and you go Ugh! and try to go somewhere instead of all those mediocre dribbles that you get away with against easy teams and suddenly you play a good team and someone's stealing those balls or causing you to pick up your dribble and have problems. You ought to practice every day explosive dribbles and think about them. Eliminate the P dribbles and start using more and more explosive moves.